Hi everyone, my name is Karen Neal. 2020 would have been my sixth year demonstrating oil painting of an animal, which is usually the Chinese animal of the year. Last year, it was the year of the pig, and this is the animal that the pig, that Cooney Cooney pig, that I painted at the fair. So at the Orange County Fair. Uh, usually it lasts about two hours. However, today, because of the coronavirus, we will be doing it virtually. The demonstration will last about five minutes or less. This will be done in five steps via my flashcards. This for example. The painting I am presenting is an animal portrait of a silky dog named Skye, which is right here. This is the finished painting. First step is sketch. Generally, I will tone the background first, and green in this instance. Then I draw the animal onto the uh, panel. As you can see, it is a very rough sketch painted with burnt umber, in, which is a brown tone. His nose, eyes, and mouth is painted in black. This rendering is a 5 by 7 canvas panel. So the second step is my approach is to put into darks. In oils, I paint from dark to light. I also paint with acrylics, pastels, dabble in watercolor. When painting with watercolor, you paint from light to dark. And you can see where I've incorporated the darks in, in this sketch. Step three, I would like to grab the animal's expression by working on the eye early on. The shape of his nose helps in capturing his character also. After I am satisfied with the basics of the eye and the nose in this third step, I then pull in some color. I next paint it in a yellowish hue of the fur, which is always created in the direction of how his fur lays. Also, I added the metal part of the collar and his tags. Step four is uh, more strokes of his lighter color of gray, grayish white, and yellowish white. I next perfect his eye, work more on his nose, and then I add highlights on f the fur, always in the direction which the animal's fur is laying, laying. Sorry. I also added highlights on the metal tag of his collar. Step five is mainly adding to the background and shaping the animal with this background paint. Neg this is called negative painting. This painting is being created with wet on wet painting, which is called ala prima. There is no drying in between. Finally, I put any touch-ups I have felt that were needed. An example would be if a dark area or light area is needed to be applied. Satisfied, I then sign it. Behind me as I stand, stand, I'm sitting, sitting in my Anaheim Hills studio are some of the animals I have done. On the other wall opposite me is an array of wild animals. All paintings are interspersed on the walls with landscapes, seascapes, some uh, still lifes also. My website, karenneal.com, has many more paintings. I love to paint animal portraits and would be happy to paint any pet from guinea pigs to lizards. I haven't tried snakes yet, but I would give it a try. Also, if you wanted a special painting of a trip photo you have taken, I would be happy to create that also. I love to paint animals portraits and would be happy to paint any any of your uh, family trips or special trips for you. If you would like a portrait painted of your pet family member or this special vacation photo, please contact me, karenneal.com, or go directly to my email, karenneal at sbcglobal.net. Again, thank you for watching, and I would like to give you a little bit better close-up of this portrait, if you can see. Thank you again.